in less than 24 hours, Chipotle restaurants across the Northwest will start reopening after an E. coli outbreak that sickened dozens of people. Fox 12's Jamie Wilson joins us live downtown. And Jamie, uh, what steps has Chipotle taken to make sure customers will be safe? Well, Pete, most of the local restaurants like this one here at Southwest 3rd in Yamhill have been closed down since around Halloween to make sure that workers could do deep cleaning. So health inspectors seem to be satisfied for now. But one woman who got E. coli thinks it's still too soon to reopen. They've gotten rid of everything in the store um, and they're testing all new product to ensure that it's safe. Health inspector Jeff Martin just gave this Chipotle at Cascade Station the green light to reopen. He says employees have sanitized all the restaurants from top to bottom. They've thrown out every morsel of fresh and frozen food, condiments, drinks, and even ice. So the Chipotle line uh, has really gone above and beyond the, the protocol. They've actually uh, thrown in some additional safeguards to ensure that the food that they're obtaining is actually from a safe source. Last month, health officials say 42 people in Oregon and Washington got E. coli from Chipotle's food. But some loyal customers are not worried about going back. A lot of chain restaurants have the similar issues. I will go back there, absolutely. I'm not that worried about it. I could see it hurting business, though, absolutely. I mean, people are scared to be sick. Ashley Ariano thinks people should be scared. She got E. coli and was violently ill for over a week. Experts still have not pinpointed the exact source of the bacteria, and that's not okay with Ashley. When I read that they haven't found the source, like there is no source leading to that, I wasn't the only one upset because we didn't all just get sick out of nowhere. Chipotle officials tell us that restaurants will only reopen after they've been inspected. But Ashley says her tainted meal there was her last. I would recommend people not going to Chipotle for maybe until they find a source. But for me, uh, I wouldn't be going back there. Now, like I said, most Chipotle locations have absolutely no food right now, so they will start opening tomorrow, officials tell me, but only if they have been able to replenish their supplies. Live in southwest Portland tonight, Jamie Wilson, Fox 12 Oregon.